Hola dear amigas and dear amigos. I'm back with another review for you. This time it's a review about this album here. It's called Peace Sells, but who's buying? By the great heavy metal or trash metal band from the Bay Area, Megadeth. Yeah, and uh, this is the second album from them from, uh, from the year 1986. And in my opinion, their finest hour and my favorite album by then. Yeah, the lineup uh, of this uh, record consisted of uh, or was uh, Dave Mustaine, the lead singer and uh, the main man of this group. So you can see him here. Then the great Chris Poland. Yeah. In my opinion, the best guitar player that ever was uh, playing in a Megadeth. And he's to uh, totally underrated. And uh, Dave don't like him so much because on the before uh, they recorded the third album, he uh, sold <laughs> Mustaine's complete guitar gear yeah, and his amps just to, uh, to, uh, to buy some drugs because he was a heavy addict back in the day. Also, like got some words who uh, died in I don't know when did he die in end of the 90s I think or yeah, so on. And in my opinion, best drummer they ever had. Absolute uh, fantastic drums uh, on this one, and uh, the uh, also great David Ellefson, uh, yeah, David Ellefson, who was uh, uh, who uh, made this band back in boy, 1984, I think, or 85. They started with uh, with his friend Dave uh, Dave Mustaine, mm -hmm. also great uh, great bass player, and. Um, like I said before, this is my favorite album by them, and I give it five or five stars. And it's a shame that they only recorded uh, two albums uh, with this lineup. Also, the, the first album, who is, is in my opinion also a great album, but was recorded really rough. And um, I, I don't, I, I can't understand why many people don't like it that much. But uh, but I tell you, it's it's a freaking great album, really great. Also. Yeah, so now I will give you a short review about the tracks. Uh, it starts with the, with the track Wake Up Death, uh, that has also a music video, which is, which is great. It's about uh, Dave or someone who comes uh, back, back to home uh, to, to his girlfriend or his wife uh, after he drank too much with the boys. <laughs> It's it's a it's a great track, really. really. Then then the um, famous the Conjuring. Uh, Dave Mustaine didn't play the song uh, for many years because uh, it's about black magic, and uh, I thought that, uh, that he said someone somewhere uh, black magic uh, destroyed my life, man. Uh, it's not good and something like that. But uh, it's, it's the track is great, the music. Then the the famous piece sells. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, that that track had also a music video, and it's the most famous song uh, by Megadeth, I think. Uh, also, MTV used uh, the, the the famous bass line of the beginning of this track uh, for the intro of the uh, the news show back in the nineties or in the eighties, maybe. Yeah. Then uh, also a great track, Devil's Island. Yeah, like like I said, the the A side, as you can see here, it's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic, great A side. Then uh, the B side starts with Good Morning Black Friday with a fantastic intro solo by Chris Poland. But man, it's it's absolutely fantastic, really. And um, uh, that's a reason why, why I like, like like this guy even more than the, the famous Marty Friedman, who is now, uh, uh, as I've heard, a uh, 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 famous TV star in, in Japan. Uh, this guy, uh, he can uh, talk fluent Japanese. Unbelievable. Uh, you can see it on YouTube here. <laughs> also some videos by him. Uh, you know, Friedman plays on uh, on the um, on the Rust and Peace album from 1990. But I, I, I don't like it that much like this one. Believe me. Then uh, Bad Omen. It's also a nice track. Then I Am Superstitious, which is, which is a, um, I think, an old uh, cover of an old rock and roll track. Yeah. And then also the great track, my also one of my favorite tracks on this year, uh, My Last Words, a track about Russian roulette. Also great mm -hmm. solos by, by Poland and, and by Dave Mustaine on, on this track. Uh, and, and drums by uh, Samuelson. Damn. Uh, someone like Lars Ulrich uh, can't even play in his dreams 
like uh, Samuel Edson did, uh, I can tell you. But on the other hand, uh, Lars knows how to sell himself, really. He's a marketing, I think, genius in this. Uh, and by the way, while I mentioned Metallica, uh, maybe some of you don't know that this guy here, Dave Mustaine, wasn't with Metallica in back in 1983, before they uh, recorded the first album, but he recorded with them the, uh, the famous de the demo tape, uh, which is called, I think it's No Life to Leather, yeah, from 82. I think, and, and it's fantastic playing by a bonus on that, that one. But they threw him out of the band because he was too aggressive against uh, against uh, James. He had, he had some arguments with him, and uh, I thought that he punched him in the face once. Uh, and then he he thinks, no, oh, why did they throw me off the band? Man, uh, he, he punched the the, <laughs> the main guy of, guy of the band. Man, I don't know what, what he was thinking back then, but he did it. And now I want to tell you some recommendations. I can recommend um, really the first CD pressing and uh, like this or like um, this was the first, uh, like uh, I think the, the first uh, Dutch pressing from 1986. Uh, I want to show you. I can show uh, the last one I forgot from the Tunisi review I did. I know that you like it, so, so I do it here. So this is the, the label. As you can see, yeah. this album, original from the 80s, from 1986 as far as I know, sounds fantastic, absolutely uh, re highly recommended if you can get this one or the first uh, US version, whatever, oh, oh. but it must be the first version. It has uh, also a, a very nice inner sleeve, you can see here. Yeah. The main guys who played on this, yeah, and uh, uh, but there's also uh, one version I I, I want to uh, that you should uh, avoid, and that's it's the 2004 remix version. It was completely remixed and remastered back that uh, the day, and it's uh, uh, I think it sounds it sounds terrible. It's a, it's a loudness war remix remaster, and it's it's not good, really not good compared to this one. But there's also one other mix that is even better than this one here, but you can only get it on the uh, on a special edition, I think from I don't know, 2011 or what it. Uh, I, I don't I don't know the date exactly the date, and that's the uh, that's the Randy Burns mix of this album. I think it's even even better mix than, than the, the one that was uh, released back in the 80s, because I think the the bass is uh, much louder, the, the guitar sound it's it's punchier more. More in your face mix than in this one, but it's also great, like I said. So, uh, I hope you like this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, subscribe to my channel down below, that helps me a lot. And uh, thank you for watching again, and uh, I hope I see you in the next videos. Thank you, and peace.